girls will start talking about a vampire. You overhear them talking about a vampire's office. Then there's one right here in the street. You just run right through here and down. And then there's one right down through here. Here. I've got them pre-marked. Now we're just going to run to them all too. So just inspect them. Of course Arthur will ride into them. Now that vampire has a knife. Okay. Now I'm going to leave the markers up there for your sakes. So I'm just going to work a different run of pattern right by this fence. So if you come right up here where this road is and look straight, you'll see a yellow sign called electric work. You just run right down this alley, make a left as soon as you come to the steps. Go under the steps and it's right here. This whole triangle or whatever you did for extra. You want to read it? Then just simply back up. Now you can hear Dutch Air talking because there's a mission. Now you can do it two ways. Now I'm going to go up here to the gun shop. Now if you look at the gun shop right here, there's Chinese writing. The Dragon Restaurant. You just run straight through this restaurant right here. It's right on the right as soon as you get to the wall or like a little cutout. And right there it is. Now you can do these in any order you want. It don't matter, you know, what order it is. As long as you read them. Alright, now we're going to head to the last two. There's five locations that you got to go to. Providing you don't run over a bunch of stupid people. Now the other one's up here by the uh, trading post. It's pretty easy to find. Just run straight up this street here. Then of course the long wait to midnight to find an actual vampire, which we're not going to do. Go through these little gate here at the trading post. See the you'll see the like little trading post there, open daily in the fence. It's right here on the wall. Mysterious writing. Now that vampire won't show up till midnight. Just just telling you. You'll have to wait till midnight, so so every place he has fed again and again. So just up here by the bar, we're going to our final, fifth, and final clue, and then I'll tell you where he'll show up. Go right up here. So these little five places, you can mark them on your own map, where I got the markings, and this one's pretty easy to find, everybody. So you can go into the bar and sleep all night until evening or late. I recommend saving the game. So go right over here and if you look over in the corner of the street, you'll see it. Sit there on the wall. So just walk right up here. Expect Now I don't think it matters which way you... I drink from the... So see, there's a pentagram right over the church location. You see in the center of the pentagram there's a church entrance right there by that little circle in a square and back behind an alley so see that it, that's close to where he's going to be so there's the hint where he's going to be and if you want to know where that is standing just outside the church entrance a little ways from it because all you got to do is run right straight down here into the road and run right down through here and he'll he'll be right here well that's exactly where the vampire will be now you don't have to put a marking in there, but you do need to kill him at midnight. So let's go in the saloon here and see if they've... Uh, uh, go into the bar and local tavern and see if they got a room for us. Now you don't have to go to this one. You can go to the other bar it does have a room that you can wait all night. So we're going to try this. The other bar location is... Good gravy. It's clean over here somewhere. Where is it? Where 
is the other bar? Lord knows. Hmm. Ah, here it is. And ain't that really that far from uh, Saloon? So that this would be a good place to go right here. We'll go down here and sleep till about midnight. So I'll leave them on there for your uh, enjoyment. So you may just have to hang in there a minute. But I'll leave the map up for a little bit there while I'm in my room. Until it gets to midnight to hour. Then we'll come back to the church and wait if it's within an hour or something. Time flies on the game. So it ain't something you don't have to worry about. So midnight's the hour that you want to be. And we got 12 hours. So... Go in this bar here and get a room. Get your room until late. So you can get a room. Rent a room. That woman's always wanting cocaine right there. So just go up here and uh, Sleep until midnight if you would do so, oh so desire. I better make sure I go to my room, right? There's always a woman right there. That's kind of weird, ain't it? So we want to sleep tonight would be 14 hours would be way too much. Uh, we got to remember it's uh, 1054. So if we go tonight, 14 hours. 14 hours from 10 would be shh, way too long. So, 8 hours. Uh, so, it looks like we're going to sleep the evening. When it's good and dark. Now, you do need to kill the vampire, so we're just going to kind of walk around town, look around. So, see, here we go. It's getting toward late. It's 6.02. So, let's see if we sleep again. What other option? It was only four hours. Six hours, see, would take us too close. Six hours would take us past the time. And I don't want to do that. So, we'll just mess around here a little bit. And uh, that woman finally left. That was kind of weird, her standing there. The last time I was here in St. Dennis, she'd done the same thing. So thank God time flies on the game. So, hey, she's gone. That woman's used to standing here. She's gone. He won't let me through. So you can get some prime rib. <laughs> Eat some good delicate food. Get primed up before your vampire hunter mission. He looks like a Nostradamus, but he isn't. He, I think he's just a sick individual. So if you want to, you can just run down through town and look around for stuff. But here's where you want to be. I don't know what it is. I wonder if we got time to do that. Hmm. We could we could try that stranger. Hopefully it ain't too late. So it's so as you see right now, it's seven seven p.m. And that, that place there is just right up the street. So let's 
Boy, I hope it don't take it too long to do. That would suck if it takes past midnight. That might be the governor. Or the mayor. So what you want to do here on a situation like this, just save your game before you get into that. And that way, so I just save my game. So if it don't work out, I can always reload my game. But we got to do something here. The Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a gift kind of man. No, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Way a well not stick in. Mm. A cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Oh, yes, of course you are. Be careful with the China. So, it was French. A Belgian? No. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. You, you, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I feel China will always be them. Why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. Sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. You do? I do. Exceptionally. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. Also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for your take. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. So... So it says a fashion designer, collector Gazzotti. He needs five of five little egret plumes, reddish egret plumes. So them's the items he needs. So we'll look in the mighty satchel here and read it. That might take a while. I don't even know where to find all that. But that's all right. I don't know where to look, start looking, do you, would you? So I imagine most of this stuff is right over in, in the vicinity. You gotta watch the time because time will uh, slip away from you.
I doubt if you find anything in this anywhere close. I find some stuff over here in the woods. Hmm, so what's these? Wild wow, man. I'd say beware of this guy here. I I would I would I would definitely stay away from him. I've heard that some of them people that <coughs> see the Oh yeah, I bet you would. That's a hint and a half to avoid them kind of people. Too nice, you know, be careful until midnight, but it, it'll probably be worth it. So, cause see, it's already 921. We could have played, played a little bit of cards. Just remember, you got to kill the stupid vampire. Remember, right here is the church. Hello. See, it's already ten. Services. Church services that now, so. Definitely gonna wait till after the twelve o'clock. It's already 11. Hey, partner. So remember, right here is where it's going to be. We'll find out here at midnight. Gee, time flies, don't it? Look.
So see, yeah. See the corpse there? See, there he is. So, you found me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the blade. Loot. There, I got it. I got the ornate dagger, see? Cool. So that's how you get that weapon. There it is. Awesome. Definitely a strange dude. So it's a it's a ornate so it's part of the knife system. So it's an ornate dagger. So I hope you liked it. I mean I mean he's dead. He's deader than a box of rocks. Then again, he may be of it. I don't know. He was easy to kill. <laughs> there you got it. He kind of smacked me once there. vibrates when you walk over. So that's it. So all you gotta do is wait till midnight and the X will show it pop up. So there's the locations man. Right here by the between the butcher shop and the general store then there's one right here in this corner up by the weapons there's a hallway right here at the alley you run straight in and straight down then this one is the chinese shop you run right over here then the other one's right up here by the trader trapper by the marker then up here across from the old bar So there they all are, all five of them. You can go to any order. And you'll have to interact with every marking. And then I thought, well, I'm going to try this. And I kind of looked up some things just to help you out. For those watching my channel and credit to whoever does it. But like I say, at midnight, just make sure you have your game already say just in case. 
and just come right in here to the church and wait till midnight fast time and go to the corpse right there you'll see the corpses right there you'll see a X pop up that means the guy's already died sick son of a gun so he thinks he's a vampire or he may be one I don't know he he may drink blood he's an ugly sucker so let's take a picture of him Here he was on, sucking on this guy's neck. Definitely was chewing on him, wasn't he? So he was definitely ripping around on this guy's neck right here so where he came from he probably waiting right here and some he lured some guy back here I don't know I don't see no way in here so he he must have somehow coerced him in here how did he get it or he might have came out from somewhere and took a leak he might have came back here and he might have just followed him back here and he probably took a leak so Yeah, so let's take the vampire with us. Like I said, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Please leave a like and subscribe, Error. So it showed you how to get the weapon in all the places. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.